Yo, what when this is Dan Salkeda representing for Champari? Champ. Hold on, hold on, Makasa. We wanna hear Champari Panapa. Hold on, hold on, Makasa. You know the center stage. I want Champari. Hold you are the queen of the radio. Sat and Boba Quat. Napota. And you are one of the best of the radio. Wakashi got it up a P-O-W-E-O-F-M. Can I only own the day that I will be friends them? I want to move to With the latest and the hottest issues with Chambari brought to you by NMB Bank. NMB Bank, in pursuit of excellence.
It's past two o'clock our time right now and welcome to Center Stage, which comes through every Tuesday between 2 30 uh, 2 and 3 p.m. And each week we get a trending popular popular artist into the studio personality, one that you know very, very well, but you still want to learn more about. And we get them to sit in our chair and we get to talk to them about a wide range of topics that have to do with them. This week we are absolutely honored and uh, I like that someone sent me a message and they said award-winning radio, uh, outstanding journalist radio and award-winning gospel artist. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. That's what's happening in the studio. We got Janet Manyoa in the studio and this program is brought to us by NMB Bank and it comes through every Tuesday. So big shout out to NMB Bank. Thank you for coming through to uh, sponsor Center Stage. 
So NMB Bank is in partnership with Mama Money Transfers and you can receive instantly forex remittances from family and friends from South Africa in USD cash. Hassle-free, safe, secure collection through Mama Money at any of the following NMB branches countrywide. To collect, uh, simply visit any of our branches with your Mama Money reference number and your ID. The cash pickup points in Harare are uh, Joyner City, Avondale, Southerton, Borodale, Masasa Excellence Centre and the NMB uh, MTA and uh, DSTV Centre which is Corner First Street and Kwame Nkrumah in Harare. And the other branches of NMB around the country are in Bulawa, Yogweru, Mutare, Mashingo, Chinoyi, Bindura. And our opening times are from 8am to 3pm. On Saturdays it's 8am till 11.30 in the morning. For the NMB, uh, NMB MTA Centre, the opening times on Saturdays are from 8am to 1pm. And we're also open on holidays between 8am uh, and 1pm. Collect your money through NMB Bank. No queues and change is no issue. US dollars is guaranteed. Cash, new clean notes are assured and cash is paid out as you want. Thank you so much NMB for coming on to the show. Like I said, we have Janet Manyowa in the studio. Send us your messages on 0712-831-172. As well as uh, we'll be opening up the phone lines a little later on. Please like and share our Facebook video, which is up on uh, Power FM Zimbabwe. So I think I've done enough talking. Let's talk to Janet. Uh, I was telling her off air and I said... Uh, if I could, well, I'm learning to sing, Janet. People say I can't sing, but that's their own problem because I'm not going to stop trying. <laughs> but if I really, one day when I sing very well, I'm going to come and force you to do a collaboration with me. And if your managers or your management says, I will come on stage while you're performing. <laughs> I was act with the way you were singing Muchengiti, I was actually wondering why have I never seen you at one of my events singing Muchengiti I, I'm beating beady. I I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be there and then I'll, and you'll have to call me on stage. Yes, so I and sing. I will call you, it's a promise. <laughs> Shouting and singing are the same thing in my book. It's okay. <laughs> I'll do the things. But uh, we want to thank you for coming through to the show as well. Thank you. Thank I you. I know you're a very <laughs> busy woman and uh, this has been a long time coming, uh trying yes. to get you here. Yeah. So obviously we don't want to do the boring questions because here at center stage we're not boring like that mm -hmm. but uh we need to obviously just ask where did the janet manua story begin mm -hmm. where does it start in in, in the, the 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 part where you got to singing and performing i know mm -hmm. Well, I heard you grew up in Chegutu. Yeah, yeah. Small town girl. Yeah, yeah. Came to the big city. Yeah. And is taken over yeah. the scene. <laughs> so where does the Janet Manoa story begin? The persona that we've grown to love. I, I think that started when I recorded my first single. Uh... I, I'm, I'm failing to separate Janet, myself, and the persona that you're talking about. But the... Um, I grew up singing in church a lot 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 mm. lot and then um i was also part of i still am part of celebration choir so i would record a lot with um with uh, the team but for me i then stepped out to sing my first single 2015 with um comfort manyame mm -hmm. and i think that's when it started yeah so you singing in a in a in a choir mm -hmm. let's just say a popular choir yeah, as yeah, well yeah the standards they have these amazing standards that we've all heard about yeah D how did that shape the persona that janet manua the artist became the solo artist became in a huge way um i must say when i was in the choir i wasn't a i wasn't burnt on being a solo artist mm -hmm. it, it wasn't really in my radar uh, growing up i thought i was going to be a songwriter who would give their songs to other artists to sing i just didn't see myself i guess i just had a lot of fears um but um i was then encouraged in Oops. sorry about that sorry uh, producers no problem. <laughs> i was then encouraged uh to step out of my comfort zone around that time 2015 it's actually munya who spoke to comfort manyama and said ah, i think my wife should record and then they made the agreement and then he just said <laughs> but, came home telling you like ah. uh, but and this and I'm Skype Mangwana. So wow. yeah, that's how I stepped out. And one thing um, I love about artists, singers, mm -hmm. is 
the way you sing and perform on stage is so different mm -hmm. from who you are off the stage. Mm -hmm. Janet is so shy. <laughs> I will force you to talk. But when the first time I met her, I was like, wow, she's so quiet. <laughs> and 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 I don't know why I build this persona in my uh -huh. this image in my head mm -hmm. that you're a talkative person. Okay. But th so this is why you were you felt you were never ready because I, yeah. you're a shy person. I don't think shy is the word. I guess I get comf if I'm comfortable, right. I'm okay. But I'm not a I'm not I'm a very introvert, extroverted person. Uh -huh. I'm actually very extroverted, but it's just the space that you find me in mm. um i'm not gonna be um very extroverted with people i'm not used to mm -hmm. but um i'm and i think that has contributed to the performer that i am i don't think i would have done that as an introvert okay yeah and so how do you define your persona Besides what you just said, that you're not really an extrovert, yeah. but you're also not an introvert. I'm a vibrant person. I believe I'm full of energy. I'm always thinking and always, yeah, my mind is always thinking. I'm one of those people who has to find something to calm them down to sleep um, because I'm very vibrant. I'm passionate about what whatever I set my heart to, I'm very passionate about it. But if I'm, my heart is not yet in it, uh, my wife. <laughs> it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Yeah. Okay, so how have you evolved mm -hmm. from where you started to where you are now? And from 2015 Janet to the Janet that we have who's taking home all these awards? Hmm, yeah, it's like the evolution. Takashi Pauchi, stone age to what age? <laughs> yeah, 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 history. Um, I think I've... I've learned so much in the last seven years that I've been in the public space, so to speak. Um, my message is still the same. So I believe there are other things that have improved in my life or that have evolved, so to speak. But my message and my understanding of my call is still where it was. Mm -hmm. So I think that balance is very important. But I've also I've also grown to be a mom of three. Aww. So that comes with its I own so it's, <laughs> its own pressures. Someone's playing something. All right. Um, <laughs> we... We, we, we've seen in Zimbabwe, there seems to be, and I'll say this in quotes, a gospel template. Okay. As a gospel artist <clears throat> back in the day, uh, you had to adhere to in order for you to be deemed sellable. Exactly. And you had a certain sound. You needed a certain sound and certain producers mm -hmm. to make you big. But you came up with your own contemporary sound and mm -hmm. way of doing things, mm -hmm. which had hints of afro pop in them which yeah. we really didn't have in the gospel scene mm -hmm. uh, it was there but not as much as big as you brought it out to be mm -hmm. so how did you end up taking your own road so fiercely uh, fearlessly i don't know which i don't know which guy hey this is not even not even um i think it was just how we were packaging gospel music or how it was packaged before that had it, it felt like it had to be to have a certain level of false humility for it to be sellable. Mm -hmm. But I believe uh, God calls us to be who we are. And I've just packaged myself the way I would have packaged, uh, let's say, my baking business. I was going to think outside the box. I was going to try and package it differently so that it can stand out. And um, yeah, I, I don't think I... I was looking at an old template or an American template. I was really trying to reach out to that person who's like me, who loves gospel music, but doesn't really want to fall into another category. Neither are they too uh, English. So I wanted my Shona and everything and who I am to be infused in my music. Mm -hmm. And that's how I've just done it. All right. I like, I like that you said, I want to speak about something you said. You said... Uh, false humility. Mm -hmm. Now, can you just explain from your understanding how this has affected, with, we're not mentioning any names, but yeah. has affected, affects an artist, how false humility affects an artist persona, the business side of things, mm -hmm. the music side of things. How does it affect the brand? Uh, 
it does affect the brand a lot um you know false humility to me is trying to appear like something that you're not so if you're confident in christ for me as a christian i believe whoever we we are god has called us to be that person and we need to be confident to move in our purpose so um i'm gonna i'm not gonna do it well if i do it like my soloma mm-hmm. because we are different mm-hmm. so i i don't have to try and <laughs> she's amazing you need to meet her <laughs> when you meet her me to cry the day i I will cry it it just comes (laughs) it just comes naturally that she just speaks Uh, Mm -hmm. but if i do that i'm trying to pretend so it's now a false humility i have to be humble in the way that i am um without trying to be someone else because that's a recipe for disaster Mm -hmm. yeah and in the end when you lose that person that that face that you're wearing and people see the real exactly you. then that's a problem <laughs> that's not like you were pretending and then we fell in love with the fake now the real one is wow. out <laughs> <laughs> so how much work is put into uh janet Bra- in, into developing brand janet manual because you said in 2015 your husband in comfort sat mm, down and mm, had this mm. conversation and so what what work was put into deciding the person that you are today the artist actually not the person but the mm-hmm. artist that you mm-hmm. are today it it has been a lot of years of investing in music um late night hours my husband and i for the longest time have been um accounting professionals in our workplaces so music really was an extracurricular activities <laughs> so it 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 has come with a lot of work in trying to um do what we feel god has called us to do but still um do it excellently diligently um i think it has taken a lot of discipline on my end to manage my time um it has taken resources from us to to pour into whatever we're doing because sometimes people don't know that to do a song you actually have to pay for studio time Mm -hmm. you have to pay a producer you have to pay instrumentalist singers and all that videos so it has taken a lot of resources to build um what you see today and i like the juicy bits (coughs) what's the most that you've ever spent on a video Hi, yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, not Mr. Manoa. He knows those figures well. Hey, let me give you a range. Yes, give us a range cuz the exact figure people will be like, "Ah, no, no, but, it. no ah. but if I if I say it, you know, uh, no, I I, I don't want to say All right. Figure. Plus or minus 5000. Plus, plus, plus. <laughs> plus, plus, plus. 7000. Plus 10,000. And what is the most I've ever seen? Yeah, the most on one video. Plus 20,000. Almost. <laughs> Which video is this so we can Indeed. go back? And... Can someone pull up? <laughs> we, need to, we need to confirm. You spent almost uh, uh, 20,000 dollars. No, no, no. And Skushora or anything. But uh-huh. I'm, just, I'm thinking this is you, an artist. Yeah. This 20,000 as an accountant. But so, mm-hmm. <laughs> this is money that you would be sitting there thinking mm-hmm. and then you are putting out this video into an audience and it's not only Zimbabwe it's all over the world yeah. uh, that tends to criticize an artist's work yes and you took that risk yes I would be driving something else right now yes <laughs> We would all be driving. <laughs> to or we would all be there. To my But you took that risk. Yeah. Why did you take that risk, Janet, to put that much amount of money, like I'm saying, into a video which you are not sure are people going to like it or are mm-hmm. they going to be like, mm, no? Uh, high risk, high return. Mm-hmm. Did it pay off? Yes. <laughs> high risk, high return um, is what I would say. I, I would also say when you're passionate about something, um, you obviously weigh the cost, but you want to push the boundaries. There are other avenues that you might have to take that will um, that will be painful. But I've seen how the, the response we got from the rest of Africa, from just that song. And you know what? I, I think I'm the wrong person to be answering these things about videos because 
I go to videos kicking and screaming. I'm thinking, Sha, Marie, you know, to Kwana Maslab and all that uh, to my management. But over time, I've come to appreciate that you need to put in, and over time, uh, it comes back. Y'all need to go onto YouTube and check on Demi. That video is lit. Yeah. I, that's the $20,000. It's lit. Uh, big shout out to Mutsa Maswaure uh, Maurera. She says uh, that Dimi is fire, uh, is amazing. Uh, let's see, Kudzaida Misa also says that's a unique video. Nyasha Eugenia Mnemo says Dimi is fire. Kudakwashe Chinjiwe says huge sacrifices. Wow. Uh, definitely a lot of people m- must feel inspired. But we need to get this right because we don't want to confuse people. Yeah. <clears throat> At what point should you make that move? Yekuti, huge uh, results, huge gains, require huge sacrifice. Because we are going to get their last dollar, mm-hmm. wanting to do it the Janet Manua <laughs> way, and then it doesn't pay off. So at what point do we realize that this is probably worth it? Or as a new artist, an upcoming artist, at what point should they make that risk? That's a very good um, analysis, Chambari. I-, I believe that, well, Ndimi was probably the eh, not seventh or whatever, Tenth video that we're done, mm-hmm. so everything goes in stages. It's how much I spend for a song now is different to how much I used to spend for the first song. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a certain growth and progression that every everyone needs to take. Um, the furniture that a big telecoms company I was about to say a name would, no, don't. would don't. use today <laughs> don't would exactly <laughs> thank god I remembered um, what they would invest in today and what they did 20 years ago is different mm-hmm. so it's a it's a progressive uh, environment it's it's a calculated risk Mm-hmm. It's a risk, but it has to be calculated. You know, uh, the Bible says, who just goes on to build a house without calculating the cost? You mm-hmm. need to calculate. What am I trying to achieve from doing this? Um, is it going to reach the people that I want to? Do I have the reach already? Do What am I building? There are a lot of questions that go on in our heads in then doing whatever we do, in putting out Wawudze and spending how much, sometimes a very low budget video, Mm -hmm. sometimes a high budget because they maybe were trying to reach Africa. And we have to take a bigger step. Yes. Um, When you started off as as a solo artist, did you start off with singles or did you start off with an album? I always do singles. I believe in singles. Mm-hmm. I did three singles album uh, on Grateful. I did four singles at Zisa, Tom Tendane. So usually people will follow my music know if I start doing singles. An album is coming. An album is coming. And I need to ask you this because you are a successful gospel artist and I always try to ha- put this point across to other artists that ask for advice, upcoming artists that ask for advice. Do you advise that they should take the route of singles or an album first if you're a new artist. If I were to give them advice, I would definitely tell them to go the singles route because that then, you know, it's a lot of money to put into an album. Mm-hmm. Uh, these days we're talking about 15 track albums and let's say you like money things. <laughs> let's say each song is costing you what? 800, the cheapest the cheapest mm. uh, okay i'm not gonna say how much i spent so <laughs> <laughs> so that's um, <laughs> what i'm not that good my big figures because you can get a song if you're yes. gonna if you're gonna use 300 dollars mm-hmm. and then usually chamvari will pick one song mm-hmm. that they will about 300 times 15. <laughs> 15. <laughs> one. One, exactly. So I would rather do single, single, singles and give each song breathing space. And these days we're in the age of streaming, of YouTube, and most people who have made it didn't have to have 15 songs to break through to you. All it takes is one song. All it takes is one song. All right. 0712 Send us your questions. We've got Janet Manyowa in the studio. And uh, uh, some people, all, you, when when they request songs on radio, and it's Janet Manyowa. I don't see Janet Manyowa. I don't see my... They butcher your name sometimes, girl. Uh, Joseph Njish is saying that laugh. She's got such an amazing laugh. This one says, uh, Janet, you're amazing. Your voice is incredible. God bless you tremendously. Thank you so much for touching our hearts through your ministry. And uh, God bless you. This is P. Provi. Got in touch. Uh, all right, Janet, how long does it take for you to come up 
with a song this is writing it recording it how long does it take and are you the, one of those people that's difficult I, I, I need something to be singing up, up, up. <laughs> what takes long to approve <laughs> uh, yeah yeah definitely I think I'm one of those people you're but a perfectionist it's, a good it's okay a, I it's am a, one as well it's a good and a bad know, thing okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right so it it really depends DJ Hover was the fastest song I ever did um, and that took uh, in three weeks I wrote the song on Thursday. Oh, we up. Three weeks. Yeah. Was quick. Yes. For one song. Oh. How long does one song take you? <laughs> okay, we're taking from the time you write the song, you have the concept in your I head, putting okay. instruments to together and having everybody. Two hours. It's okay. We're not going to mention the genre, but okay. let's move on. <laughs> You were gonna, you were propping me. Two three weeks was a pink. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it was, it was such a short time. <laughs> no, that's a long a time, time in terms of other from my, from what I've seen. But yeah. you, it took you three weeks. Mchengeti took how long? Ish, yeah, with the with the back and forth and everything and rewriting it and recomposing it. Nah, six months. Richie and Dajagada. So this is why we end up getting this product that people love so much yes. because you put time and effort yeah. into it. Don't yeah. feel bad. Uh, <laughs> uh, we had Alec Macheso in the studio yeah. two years ago and then he, two, three years ago and he mm. said Ngai Bake took three months to record. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Because <laughs> sometimes you have to repeat. You have to uh, think, uh, finish. You have to finish the songs. I finished and I'm like eh. Mm-mm. Not for the beloved sins of the Lord. <laughs> Let's relook at it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. And uh, this is this is quite amazing that, that you're telling us. I think a, a lot of uh, new artists will be learning from this as well. Mm-hmm. So uh, this one I asked you years ago when I spoke to you, but we'll ask again. How did you get the amazing Shingisai Suluma onto a song to feature mm-hmm. with you? The the you are fairly new the back story then. with with Masuluma is quite interesting. So she reached out to me first on on YouTube and mm-hmm. said, "Well done, you're doing a great job." And then I got her digits from a mutual friend, and then I wrote her, and then we would just chat, chat, chat. Then I said, oh, "I want you to come to Zimbabwe." Then she said, "Well, if you want to sing with me, I'll come." And I'm like. Ah. <laughs> we need to get her on because obviously she was my inspirational inspirator mm-hmm. so <laughs> so I, I was so chuffed wow. with the way it just came out and then uh, my producer did an amazing job with just putting Muchengeti together mm-hmm. and and when she heard it she loved it and then we sang it and together. I love it and, my, and that's yeah. why my voice is cracking because I was <laughs> shouting to the song in the studio and this, we need to ask you this there's been some talk and uh, debates on uh, Janet Manoa's music your mm. music is quite popular in the urban cities mm-hmm. however Zimbabwe is a whole country <laughs> And uh, also has the rural communities. Mm -hmm. So as an artist, do you reach out to create a fan base in those areas, seeing as they too also need to uh, benefit from your music? They need to hear the gospel and feel it. Um, The truth of the matter and of life, I I need this to come out right. The truth of the matter in life is you cannot be all to all. So the other people in the urban areas who I actually don't even appeal to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then uh, there are other people because of what they prefer I might never appeal to. Mm. But having said that, this year I'm going on tour and I'm, um, I have a lot of people who write me from ah, ah, distant places who love my music and I do try to reach out to them. But I don't think I'm going to try and change my sound to make sure I have everyone love me mm-hmm. because we are so many artists others are going to appeal the 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 at the end of the day Kanachita Roku Gospel Tukuti the the fishermen mm-hmm. are all doing their job to get the fish. All right. Yeah. So in, in in essence you're also going to go on a tour like you said you're going on a tour and 
this will also help you to to identify exactly where your fan bases are outside exactly. of the urban cities. Yes. I think that's a good idea. So your team is quite solid with your husband managing you. How do you guys manage to, you know, to strike a balance between the marriage and the work life, especially when opposing opinions arise and decisions need to be made? You're two different personalities. You have your vision. He's got his vision. Mm. So but na papi and I'm so much as you said that I got to know you know like how does it work? Uh yes, we are different people and we've had to learn. Um I always say the 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 breakdown of any relationship then comes when you fail to communicate expectations and uh, the meeting thereof of mm. them. So um what has helped maybe is just that open open communication channel of being able to talk about the hardest things or the hardest fears that we would face mm -hmm. so um, there are times where he he honors me as the artist and says um okay i'm gonna i disagree with you but i'm gonna honor you as the artist Mm. And the other times where I disagree with him and I say I disagree but I'm going to honor you as my husband. Mm -hmm. And that is not we have agreed <laughs> but that's the agreement. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, so th this the message came through from Gina. I'm a young mom and also a visual artist. I saw a video where you featured an artist. Uh, if you have upcoming videos, please continue to support the art sector. Umozo ngundi feature as a woman. I'm seeking a, uh, exposure. How did you get this uh, upcoming artist, visual artist in? Which, which visual artist? Which video are you talking about? Uh, well, it Gina? must be Makafani, the, the one who had, um, what do they call them? Who was painting as we were singing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, please write to us on Facebook and or on our WhatsApp number. Then what happens is some of these things are not planned. It just happens that a song comes and we're saying, oh, this song has to show uh, the glory of God in horses. Mm -hmm. Then we're like, where can we find horses? <laughs> Then we know where to find horses. Mm -hmm. So if you if you are just in our vicinity, we know could oh there's that lady who does flags or she does some such kid could dance. Yeah, just write us. You're right. Pamu chaga. The comparison of gospel and circular artists. This is a very, very interesting one. I love this question when it was posed to me. Is it fair to have the two categories being branded being put under the same uh Bra, bra, banner um for example best female mm. being put under one umbrella for awards considering that gospel is a lifestyle and circular is not a lifestyle it can include anything and different genres but here you are janet the gospel artist being put in the same category with circular artists do you feel like you know it's a you're at a bit of a disadvantage as a gospel artist seeing as they have no limitations as far as messaging and lifestyle but you i'm not saying there's a limit but you you have this lifestyle you have to adhere to as a gospel artist. Yeah, I think my view is a bit. <laughs> I don't know She's I thinking say carefully. It. She's thinking carefully before she says it. Because I believe that gospel. Okay, let me ask you a question. Who, who, the tables have turned. I refuse to answer. I plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> this is not an interview about Chabari. Is gospel a genre? No, it's a lifestyle. Because it's a terms, message. It's a message. It's a message. And it's also a lifestyle. You have to practice what you preach in order for the message to get across. Exactly. Just like he, Rick Ross has to practice what he sings. So, but he's always with different women, though. Oh, oh, okay, so <laughs> and where, that's what where, he sings about. Where I'm getting to is, and this is my stance, mm -hmm. unless I'm convinced otherwise, I believe that gospel is a message, it's not a genre. Mm hmm. But we have decided that. Uh, but Christian rap. Rap or whatever it is. So I think that gospel music is just a message. And it, which has got many genres. So having said that. I believe we should be put on the same pedestal with everybody. If you're a female, Pindamu female, Murima female. Murima female. Jatruku imba ya second stage. Jatiri ku. Jatruku reads a. 
cannot catch. Okay, this is because if you do that, you're gonna then say, let's have Afro jazz awards for Afro jazz. And it what if I need Afro jazz, ye love me rap. I need Afro jazz, ye gospel me rap. I need Afro jazz, ye against drug abuse me rap. So one this. I hope you get my point. Okay. So what I'm saying is every we end pa pa jarango fano no pa mno tiriza music e du pano pa station. E music we shouldn't be played on on Sunday. Mm -hmm. It is just music. Yeah. It is R and B. If you are flowing in the mood of love songs or R and B or a certain vibe, you should have gospel in there. You should have every message in there. That's why I keep my friends. I want to kuda kwa shi injive. Janet is hilarious. I tell my uncle. Thank you so much, kuda kwa shi for getting in touch. All right, we're running out of time, and we'd also like to open up the phone lines. Uh, still on awards. You won a big a big award last year. Mm -hmm. uh, the Best of Africa Gospel Award at the SABC Crown Gospel Awards. And this category was quite competitive. Yeah. Did you even think you are going to win? I was hoping to win, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, but I didn't think I would win, but praise the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> and what does winning an award, any award, have on you? What effect does it have on you as a person and an artist? Hmm. I, there's no effect. I'm doing the right thing. Yeah, I'm, 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 I am doing the right thing, but at the same time, I do not think I should be defined too much mm -hmm. by awards. Neither should the way I see myself change. God bless your humility. I'm not that way. Anyway, <laughs> if you had not become a gospel singer and an accountant, is there any other profession that you would have taken up? I'll probably be a comedian. So that person <laughs> said I'm hilarious. Um, I'll probably be in, in in a designer of some sort, interior design, um, clothing design. That's something. your thing. Yeah. Okay, girl, yeah. we see you. Yeah. All right, this is brought to us by NMB Bank 0242 498652 and 0242 498654. Get in touch with uh, Ms. Mrs. Janet Manuel. We got her in the studio. Please remember this is a family listening station. Keep your comments clean. Clean, clean. We got so many people that are tuned in. So uh, we need to keep it clean. And you can also send us a voice note. Keep your voice note 10 seconds and below. We don't have a lot of time. And uh, just get straight to the point as you speak to Janet Manyowa. Power FM, hello? All right, nobody on that line. Power FM, hello? Hello? Hi, what's your name and where are you calling from? You are talking to my Kisha in town. All right, my Kisha. Taurina, Janet. Hello, Janet. Hello, my Kisha. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? Ah, we are fine. Yeah, so far as we get to go music, yeah, boy. Ah, thank you. Thank you so much for encouragement, Yenu. Sure, I'm very the other thing that I far go no more is go one go still is no like is a go no at this same week. I'm going to go because they think one of it South Africa. Hey, ah, sure. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. Thank you so much for getting in touch. Power FM, hello? Hello. Hi, what's your name and where are you calling from? I'm Truth in Budero 5. Go ahead and speak to uh, Janet, Truth. Okay, how are you, Janet? Well, Truth, how are you? I'm really fine. Good. I love your music very, very much. Ah, thank you. I appreciate that. Please keep supporting okay. and listening. I will support you forever. Thank you. <laughs> Truth, what is your favorite, what's your favorite Janet Manuel song? Jimmy, yeah, it's my favorite too. It's yeah. not, it's not my favorite because it was an expensive video. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> right, hello. Hello, Hi, what's your name and where are you calling from? Okay, from Precious, can you please remove your phone from loudspeaker and move away from the radio because you're quite faint. You're very, very faint. Okay. Hi. Oh, Precious, we lost you. Come back, girl. Power right, hello. Hello. Hi, what's your name and where are you calling from? Yeah, I know this is the phone. I'm calling from the party. 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 All right, when you call into the radio, please uh, remove your phone from loudspeaker. I know you want to hear the conversation and people want to hear the conversation, but this is radio. We won't be able to hear you at all if uh, you are, if, if the phone is on speaker. You will not be audible at all. All right, let's play some voice notes that are coming through on the WhatsApp number 0712-831-172. We have Janet in the studio. 
Hi, Jenny, it's Minyoa. I'm no mom from Harare. I love you so, so, so much in your songs. I don't need to see that in Anu's songs either. Whenever I'm down, my songs are good. Anu's songs either. They're actually my prayers. She sounds very emotional oh, saying that to you. you. Thank you. Um when you when you write your songs, what is what are you envisioning happening to the person listening to the song? Um what happens with me most of the time is these songs come from a place of meditation or yeah, as long as I I keep writing it, it I'm meditating a lot. If you see me not writing, mm-hmm. the meditation is gone. So um in most instances, those those if not all instances, those songs will have spoken to me first before they speak to another person. And um, yeah, I, I I believe that's a recipe for a good song. All right. When it comes to collaborations, what is the policy? What is what what do you guys do when it comes to uh, collaborations? I asked this because uh, some time ago, Takura went to Twitter and he said he wanted to do a song with you, and mm. they asked for retweets, and mm. they were retweets, mm. and nothing. Well, we don't know that something came out of it, but <laughs> we didn't hear anything after that. So what's the policy as far as collaborations um, are concerned? Okay, so as far as collaborations are concerned, so I'm, I'm taking it uh, collaborations outwards for me. When I'm Sorry, yes. Uh, outwards when I'm collaborating with someone. Um, most collaborations are based on relationship mm-hmm. for me because... Um, I want to partner into something that I kind of understand and I know I can vouch for 20 years later. Mm-hmm. So, you and I, Chambar, we eat ice cream every day. Yes. We go, our children go to the same school and we are always, I kind of know you and it becomes easier for me. Mm-hmm. So, for me, it's just a matter of uh, guarding my message mm-hmm. and uh, how I partner so it's it's not about another person being great or bad or good or what it's just a matter of maybe at the time that you are you want to collaborate with me when your voice is now 100 percent like you say i'm getting this uh, yeah when your voice <laughs> what, what, what's also my schedule like maybe i'm also working on an album at that time mm-hmm. so so you didn't snub him it's gonna take six months for me to to finish my album mm-hmm. so so it's not a snub it wasn't a snub your question was what is my policy mm-hmm. regarding collaborations and you said it's about connection yes okay let's leave it to that 498652 and 498654 i mean no hello well hi what's your name and where are you calling from i'm nicola from Budiriro. go ahead and speak to janet Hi, Janet. Hi, Nicola. I'm good. How are you? I'm very well, thanks. How are you? I'm okay. I just wanted to tell you that I love your music so, thank you. so much. I'm so honored. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh. All right, thank you so much, Nicole. I loved her energy. I thought she was going to say yeah. something. I was ready to know what Nicola said, had to say. All right, Femelo. Zuri say. Zuri say. Zuri say. Zuri say. Zuri say. Zuri say. Zuri Ah, uh, Yeah, bo Andrad. Mujere bo. Ah, mi zikini ni zoni 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 Hi, Janet Manyoa. Ah, maso mwako, anu ndi tira shekuti. Kunyanya, iya ino ndi DJ Ova. Ah, ndo hida shekuti, ino ndi simu zira. Unoko na kwe imba. E, ndi no imba kuti ucha release or something. Chino ramba chiti, chisumu zira. Oh. All right. 
That's from a fan. Ah, I live for these testimonies, <laughs> man. Thank Amen. You, you guys are getting emotional in the studio. <laughs> but unfortunately, we've run out of time. Uh, what can we expect? What's coming up with Janet in 2022? What's going to happen with Janet in 2022? Uh, um, a lot. <laughs> lot. Um, this year, I'm doing things a bit differently. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, everything comes out together. And uh, more concerts, more... Um, mm-hmm. Hugs to Janet. Yeah. Before we go, last words to the fans, to people who are not sure how they feel about you, who are sitting on the fence, <laughs> do I like her or not? What, what are your last words to them? <laughs> Uh, to those sitting on the fence, car, just jump car, <laughs> to the right side. <laughs> you know, um, over. rather rather go to the extreme end, but don't be on the fence. Just yeah. just move <laughs> over. Um, for everyone, especially Power FM listeners, I want to say thank you. I think my song was number one. It, it was. was. It was, right? Mm-hmm. It was number one on Power FM. So I am so grateful. And that's Ndi Jehovah. And uh, thank you so much for voting, supporting. Um, happy Women's Day to every woman listening. Did not get weary in doing good. And uh, to all the children listening, you are our future and we're depending on Aww. you. May God bless everyone listening. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, everybody that has been tuned in. Thank you to Ropa BB. Uh, Melissa, Shingi, Chambari, and Janet for coming through to the show. This has been Center Stage with Chambari. All the hottest and latest live. Tune in to Power FM every Tuesday from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. NMB back in pursuit of excellence.